Hello. In this sixth video in the series aimed at people who are open to work, we're taking our final look at the LinkedIn profile. LinkedIn have made a nifty little tool available called the Social Selling Dashboard. Now what this does is it measures your profile completeness and quality and the quality of your engagement on the LinkedIn social platform. It does this on four key dimensions and it gives you some advice on improving your profile. Take a look, the link's in the comments. Now some CV tips. First, open with a strong statement that talks about how you use your skills to deliver outcomes for organisations. Use keywords that are related to the position that you're seeking and avoid fluff like driven, results oriented professional, which could be about anybody and everybody. Next, list out your key current skills, so that's those that are about five years old or newer, in an order that makes sense for the role that you're applying for. Don't say anything about standard office applications unless what you do in them is pretty special. Next, document your career experience in reverse chronological order using bullet points to keep things punchy. Devote the most words and space to your most recent position and progressively less words and space as you go backwards in time. For anything over five or ten years old, summarise your experience down into one line per position. Focus not on what you were responsible for, but on what you did and the results that you achieved for the organisation. Use straightforward formatting with clear sections and headings to make your CV easily machine readable. Save fancy formatting and infographics for social media posts or perhaps your LinkedIn featured area. Tailor your CV for each application so that you can focus on the bits that are most relevant to that application and downplay the less relevant bits. My friends at PMO Learning offer a two-week distance learning CV writing course for £25 plus VAT and that comes with lifetime access to the training materials. That's it for today. You can find more information on these suggestions in the comments. Was this video helpful? What did I miss? What would you have added? Let me know in the comments and stay tuned for the next and probably the final video in this series.